While some companies are looking to get into Guyana, Dollar Financial is winding down its operations there. Hmm, I wonder why. I'm Kalila Reynolds, founder of Money Media. We make business and finance easy to understand. So United Airlines just launched a direct flight from Houston to Guyana. But while United and others are trying to get in, Dollar is trying to get out. Dollar opened in Guyana's capital, Georgetown, back in 2021, focusing specifically on providing short-term loans to small and medium-sized businesses. And Dollar Guyana contributed consistently well to the company's overall performance. When you look, for example, at their audited financials for the year ended December 31, the Guyana operation contributed 86 million Jamaican dollars to net interest income and 5 million to overall net profits. So it raised more than a few eyebrows when the company announced that it was shutting the doors on the Guyana office. Why would they do that? Well, according to a statement from Dalla, Guyana's rising geopolitical tensions make doing business there very challenging and uncertain. We've talked a lot about Venezuela and Guyana's dispute over the Essequibo region. Venezuela claims the oil-rich region actually belongs to them. They held a referendum in December where Venezuelans voted to annex Essequibo from Guyana. The leaders of Venezuela and Guyana met last year and agreed to resolve their issues without force. But there's still a lot up in the air. Now, Dollar CEO Kenroy Carr said the withdrawal was a strategic move to shift resources away from the uncertainty in Guyana towards more financially viable opportunities in Jamaica. Dollar will still have a presence in Guyana for at least the next year. The company said it expects all the loans dispersed in the market to be fully repaid by March 31, 2025. Now, it might seem strange that Dollar is trying to get out of a market that a lot of people are trying to get into, but it's all about timing. Dollar is a micro lender, so geopolitical tension will have a massive impact on how they can do business. Interest rates, operational costs, and delinquencies, all of this has to be considered. I'm sure when the time is right, the company may consider re-entering the market. And with the connections and network that they've built over the last two and a half years, it might not be that hard. And that's the bottom line. If you want to learn how to invest in companies like Dollar, click the link up here or in the description for my Investing for Beginners course. Let's get this Money. Let's get this money.